<laughs> hello lovers <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys guys if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so you are notified every time i do an upload video live stream all that great jazz and you are looking at baby cody baby cody is um cody bear by laura tuzo ross i am going to take a loose his little pigtails um but after the video i'm actually going to um restyle his hair a different way so he can show his other curl pattern or whatever um because i want to today try to get some other final photos of him i don't know why this thing keep jumping all over the place what is going on with my camera it's so weird okay so um yeah so we're gonna i'm gonna take the rubber bands out and i i put these in very light very um uh, loose i should say not light um just so i don't have to really pull on the hair um they will last in his head a long time but um and he probably will eventually go back to this hairstyle because that's what i like for my boys that's why i get them whenever i do get my big my big boys they have a lot of hair and it's for this reason because i like to put them in the little pom-poms like um ashley said from wonderful world of reborns she was saying her, she used to do her son hair like this all the time i think a lot of people um do their boys hair like you know like this or um uh, one ponytail to the back or you know a whole just a little afro um it's just common that we do that um someone made a comment on my facebook page that just looking at the rubber bands make their head hurt and it's like clearly they they're not accustomed to um these hairstyles <laughs> this this is normal um and they don't hurt the baby's head well, some mamas do put, will put them on too tight. And then your aunties or grandmas be like, girl, if you don't take them things loose out of baby head, baby have little bumps on the scalp. That's when you know it's too tight. Now that does happen sometimes. Um, I don't want to like stereotype, but a lot of young mommies that don't know a first time mommies just be trying to make them babies look cute and be them put them too tight. Um... I'm feeling a little perplexed this morning about a few things, but I'm not going to discuss it right now. Um, I'm going to let it marinate for a little bit. I kind of mentioned it in the chat box a little bit, one of the things. But I'm just it's just really exhausted. I'm, I'm, this, this, some things are just bigger than me, I guess, you know. Um, but. I lose so many days from work because I have to go inside the office and I'm in there like all day and then as usually when I get off I run and do whatever errands I need to do you know pick up my mail etc etc it's that's what I normally do on those days and so um, not every week but the weeks that I do have to go in um, I have to physically be in the office it is um it takes away from my work so i lost days of rooting which means it pushed me back on my painting um i was not going in the office as much um until they changed it on me um prior to me taking my orders but that's okay i'm still gonna I'm still going to make it work. Um, so, yeah, so he is. Look at. He's got a head full of hair. Like, it's. But I'm going to get him. I have bought. I got a whole haul, guys. I don't. I don't do hauls that often. Um, but if you guys are interested in seeing when I get. Maybe when I. I'll include that in my. Um, nursery tour when I finish that because I am working on that as well um, so you guys will hey Cody Bear 
um, you guys will see I will, I will sh show a little bit more in detail if you guys want me to of some of the things that I bought I bet I bought a whole wardrobe basically for my little babies um, because I don't have clothes for little babies and I don't even have and that's it's funny because I don't even have um, them in my collection just yet except for you know the little my little micro creamy babies um you know my boy he's not painted but I've been trying to go ahead and start nesting for him early so when he does get completed he he has clothes so um so you'll you'll see some little things that I've I've picked up for him um but I'm looking for a baby that fits like up to five pounds, you know, clothes that size, you know, maybe 15 inches. And I really wanted to know, like, I was thinking about getting the Charles by Marita Winters, but no one seems to really give real good details on that baby. And I don't want to spend um, all that money for the kit. And it end up being smaller than I expect. So I am a little, I'm struggling with that because people show the baby, but they just kind of like show pictures. They don't really show like it next to like size comparison or like what clothes size it wears, stuff like that. And, you know, when you searching for a baby for me and I'm looking for a specific size, I need that and I don't you know some some artists don't feel like being bothered trying to tell you about the kit I guess I I don't know and I've had people you know not give me accurate information too so I got two and I was hoping that Cody can wear one of the other so I got 18 month and a 24 month because I wanted to have one for Phoenix and one for him so I'm going to try him on the 18 month, which is what I intended for him. But if he can't, I'll put him on the 24 month. He should definitely fit the 18 month though. And then um, I know Phoenix can wear the 24 month. He can wear 18 or 24 month because he's a little bit more slender, even though he's a big boy too. So this is pretty big, <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I, I probably could have got smaller because I forgot Carter's changed their clothing size. Um, their line, their clothes used to be cut really small. Carter's is not cut small anymore. And I forgot about that. I should have probably gotten him 12 months. But I was thinking along the lines of Carter's old sizes. Um, so, yeah. But I don't know. Look like he might be able to to fit it. So we'll see. He's a chunky boy. I mean, I really, really am enjoying his size. I just need to um like do a whole little special shopping spree for him. Now that I'm, you know, really got him together. He got it. His his special body is here. So I'll pick that up today. Um and I'll see if he will change his body, but it should be exact the exact fit as this is just have my signature on it and is in the biracial so called so called biracial or darker dose weight body. It's really not necessarily biracial. It's just a a darker um dose weight body with you know Miss Randy Smith stitched on the butt. So um I had Pat Green um, make that body for me. And so I am from um, Doll Makers or Pat Doodles on Etsy. So we'll see how that go. Um, hopefully, it'll be my first time getting bodies from her. So hopefully it works. He actually fit this 18 month really nice. Y'all see that? It's not sagging in the bottom so he's he's good look at that look look at his bubble 
see so he's good so the 18 month work now I wasn't even I thought he had blue I don't know why I was thinking blue but I gotta get him some socks I was gonna just put him on some socks with this but these aren't the right socks <laughs> I bought like a bunch of boy socks for Phoenix, but I don't know where I put them, which is part of my organization for my room right now is actually um, trying to get everything organized. I bought some, um, some, some different storage things to also, you know, help me um, organize like their clothes, their uh their blanket so I'll, I'll show you guys if you guys are interested let me know if you guys want to see you know a, a detailed um, nursery tour to kind of see how I put things where I put things and stuff like that but yeah I did I bought um, I bought uh, the things I bought a new bin for their blankets and to put their blankets in that and slide it under their cribs because the blanket is taking up all the drawer space and I need more drawer space because obviously I have tons of clothes and I think, I don't know how many babies I got, but I know I'm getting up there with the babies. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely not trying to, um, I'm definitely, you know, not trying to get rid of too many clothes. I will, um, do another uh what you call it purge with um for real babies here soon if you know someone's having a baby i will look into that with my daughters and we will go through some clothes and, and get give some away but my new stuff and my recent stuff will be here for the babies because i have um a set of twins I'm, I'm I'm expecting twins and those may be the babies I originally was nesting for actually that I was buying clothes for and I'm kind of I'll be honest with y'all this is another thing another twist to my collecting collection I'm actually considering I'm actually considering not even worrying about finding a silicone anymore as far as like my preemie and just go with these twins if I like these twins reborn that's going to be enough for me and i'm not going to worry about it doing it in silicone and then i'll just only focus this year on finding me a silicone newborn girl um a sleeper so that's that's going to be my that's the angle i'm going at but i won't know until i paint them put them together see how i feel about them um i'm also um, working on a, just a little I want to have a preemie area but I don't know how I make all this happen I got all these ideas floating in my head but I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get it all set up but right now my room is total disaster if I flip this camera around you would I would be embarrassed because I have like tons of stuff all over like the floor and piles because I'm going through stuff separating stuff and I've pulled out some stuff because I need to you know reorganize stuff but I'm gonna get it all together um, I don't have much time in between working to really spend on it so I'm doing a little bit at a time like you know when I need to get up and stretch or you know just take a break with my eyes and stuff like that so that's what I'm doing um, but I got, a, I got different stuff coming in and I'm just really trying to see how I can maximize their closet space and you know, like I said, under the cribs, wherever I can maximize space. And um, because I want to collect smart, that's my, my motto, collect smart. And also I want to be a real traditional collector. I don't want to have to give away my babies and I want to make space for them um, or sell babies my personal babies the ones that I really really want to keep there will be you know a little bit more shedding off until I get to a comfortable number because I'm expecting like I said twins I'm expecting um another Cody a Delia um you know my half pint twins and um 
have some other private babies, etc., etc. So that's that's where I'm at, right, Cody Bear? Yeah. So anyway, that is it for us. Um, someone asked in the previous video how long he is. He is 24 and a half inches long. Um, his feet are four inches long. I don't know. It depends on the shoes. He's been wearing three to six month shoes. And also, I think he can fit a size two. Um, so that was the shoe sizes so far that I've put him on. And then um, his clothes, six to nine months on onesies, on some onesies. It depends on how fat you stuff him. But I, I obviously stuffed him fat to match his limbs. Um, I am going with 12, as you can see, 12 months, 18 months going forward. I did buy some six to nine months and some nine months. Um, but some of that stuff, the six months is a little tight. So I'm not going to do that with him anymore. I'm going to just go from nine to 12 months or 12 to 18 months with him on clothes. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, his head to conference is 17 as far as my memory go. Uh, and, um, yeah so he's 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 a good he's a good chunk um sandals i yep he can still he can wear sandals in the summer he has um the separated toe the big toe on both feet are separated so if you're doing a girl you definitely can do sandals with him um for the summer spring i know how that's important to us when we are dressing our babies um what else booga um when his kids come out i'm thinking they're gonna come out this month or next month when his kids come back because the pre-orders is over i'm sure there'll be a few extras left over i would strongly suggest if you are considering this sculpt that you go ahead and get them because i think this is going to be one another one of laura's um sculpts that's going to sell out because he's obviously a popular kit and I know a lot of people want to contribute that to the fact that he um, he is a portrait of a very famous YouTuber, which, you know, a lot of us watched the baby mom grow up on YouTube, um, which is um, Julie's One um, channel. And Julie's One is, his, is Cody's Beer Mom. Um but also the kit is just really gorgeous the baby real baby is gorgeous of course and the kit is really gorgeous and it the kit laura did a very great job of um capturing that baby um exact look so i think yeah so i i i think that it's just a a, a big range of a combination of why this baby is going to sell out so that's just my thoughts on it. Um, the pre-orders did very well. Very, very well. And so I just really think that that's... That if you're interested, that's all I can say. Is you better get it while you can. But talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I know my videos have been long lately. But I just feel like, hey, this is the only time I get to actually say what I need to say. I don't get to post as much on you know social media because i'm busy i'm really busy i'm really focused on taking care of my customers i'm putting all my personal babies to the side i'm not painting anything for me until i finish these orders so that's taking a lot of discipline um i don't know i may i may have like one that like reborn i might work on reborns on this you know side by side because, like I said, once I finish rooting, because the curing takes time. And while it's curing, I can be painting other stuff. So, um, that may may happen. I won't say I won't have any reborns. But my silicone babies will have to wait. I have Alex that's waiting. I have my birdie that's waiting. Um, whatever next kit that I buy for myself is going to have to wait. So, that's where I'm at. Unless I do a prototype, um, it's just all about the customers. So, <sighs> see.
see you guys later. Thanks for watching again. I'm sorry. Don't forget to hit the like on your way out. Share this video and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.